On to question 14. I call on the Honourable Member for Arbury Castletown Maloo, Mr Glover. Thank you, Mr President. I seek leave to ask the Minister for Health and Social Care how many people have needed to access mental health services in each of the past three years. Thank you. Minister for Health and Social Care to reply. Thank you, Mr President. Uh, the following data demonstrates the integrated <coughs> mental health service caseload calculated at the end of each of the last three calendar years. The figures do not, however, capture individuals who have sought mental health intervention through access to primary care or third sector organisations. Uh, December 2019 was 4,148. December 2020, 4,469. And December 2021, 4,539. Supplementary, Mr Glover. Thank you, Mr President. Could we just have a, a, a bit more on those figures in terms of waiting times as well, please, from the Minister. Thank you. Minister to reply. Uh, thank you very much, Mr President. Uh, yes, so the wait waiting times I have here have been broken down by the various teams inside the Integrated Mental Health Service. Uh, so, for example, the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service average waiting time is 217 days. For the Community Mental Health Service, it's two weeks. Uh, community Wellbeing Service is two weeks. The Older Persons Mental Health Service is three weeks. They're the average waiting times for those services. Well, supplementary, uh, Mr. Glover. Final. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, would he accept that over 200 days is an acceptable uh, waiting time? And I'm assuming, as well, that's not for treatment; that's to actually be assessed in the first place. Thank you, Minister. To reply. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Yes, I completely agree with the honourable member. I think that, as an average waiting time, is completely unacceptable. Yeah. I would flag that any referrals that present with a high risk of harm. Uh, would actually be referred immediately and dealt with straight away as part of the crisis response so that it, people that are, are in crisis mode, for example, would get that immediate referral. Uh, but the Honourable Member is, is absolutely right. And actually, I'd like to thank him for asking this question because it has drawn this information out. I have, uh, off the back of this question, uh, reached out to Manx Care to try and find out exactly what is being done uh, to make sure that these waiting times can be reduced as a matter of priority. <laughs>